So if you've ever wanted some very quick cash, it's a ratio that is really helpful for both your personal finance and your business finance. Hello, today we speak about your asset test ratio. Have you ever wanted some quick cash? That is why the asset test ratio is also known as your quick ratio. The reason being that it is a sign of how fast you can get your hands on cash, actual cash or cash equivalent within the shortest amount of time. In the last episodes, we spoke about your current ratio being your current assets divided by your current liability. But in your current asset, we added your inventory as well. The quick ratio simply takes out inventory. Reason being that it is a sign that you might be too dependent on your inventory if your quick ratio isn't high enough. And if it is very high, it means you are in a good position to get some cash on hand when you need it within the shortest amount of time. So the calculation for your quick ratio is your current assets minus your inventory divided by your current liability. So it's basically your cash, your cash equivalent, your account receivables divided by your current liabilities. So it's basically anything that is easily turned into liquid cash within the shortest amount of time. And then we try to find out how much of it can make up your liabilities, show all your debtors or show everybody that you have to owe money to come for their money immediately. So if you've ever wanted some very quick cash, it's a ratio that is really helpful for both your personal finance and your business finance. And as of today, well. Brought to you by Africa School of Entrepreneurship.